My new GitHub repo blew up this week with over 1,500 stars in the first eight hours. Now I know what you might be thinking, Adam, I've seen you code on Twitch. This is awful, but you know what? Nobody said I had to do it in a way that looked nice. How in the world did one of your repos blow up? First of all, how dare you? How dare you? Second of all, we all know that something doesn't have to be quality for it to be popular. In fact, I think anyone could follow these same steps that I took and have a similar outcome. And you know what? You're in luck because I'm gonna share those steps in this video. I mean, it's why I made the video. It's why I made the repo. It's to make this video, to share it with you. So of course I was gonna share the steps. Step one, buy a new MacBook Pro. The new M2s just came out, they're really great. And you might be thinking, I don't need a MacBook to write good software. But our goal isn't to write good software, it's to become popular. So just please bear with me, it'll make more sense in the end. Step two, your repo's going to need a name. Now this is the only hard step because we're not gonna deal with cache invalidation. For my repo, I wanted a name that left no doubt that this was a good repo. So I went with good repo. If someone takes a look at the repo and they're like, I don't know, is this a good repo? It's right there in the name, can't miss it. Step three, you need to create your repo. I recommend choosing one of the popular scaffolding projects. Personally, I went with Create React App because I hear that in 2023, it's a solid choice. It's also very popular. Step four, this is kind of boring stuff, but your repo is going to need a license and a readme and contribution guidelines. You'll need a readme because it's the first thing people see when they hit your repo. So you wanna leave a good first impression. A license file helps people understand how they can use your work. And you'll need to add some guidelines around contributions because the last thing you want is to blow up on GitHub and lose would-be contributors. Step five, you're gonna make the repo your own. You don't have to change much, but a few little enhancements can go a long way. I only spent a few minutes making some mostly aesthetic changes. If you're lucky, you might have friends that could contribute as well. And if you get a pull request in the early going, don't get hung up or bogged down in code review. It's just LGTM and then merge that PR. Step six is the last step and arguably the most important. That MacBook Pro you bought at the beginning, you're gonna give it away. Anyone who stars your GitHub repo has a chance at winning a new MacBook Pro. This is the moment where my repo really took off. It's early still, small sample size, but it's on a trajectory we've never seen in open source. Once things settle down a bit, you're gonna wanna deliver on your promise and choose a winner. I did this on Twitch just to be completely transparent and make sure it was all above board. Uh, it took something like two and a half hours to write 15 lines of code to fetch some GitHub stargazers and choose one at random, but it's important that you follow through on this step. All right, so what did we learn here? Well, I learned that an open source repo doesn't have to be useful or even have a point to be popular on GitHub. I learned that it costs $500 to ship a laptop from the Ozarks to Italy. Oh, I also learned that the venture capital markets seem to have cooled down a bit as I'm struggling to raise off of my one day pop on GitHub. But most importantly, I was reminded that vanity metrics like GitHub stars can be abused. Now that doesn't mean they're useless. And if you've had legitimate success on GitHub, you shouldn't feel bad about it. Just remember that GitHub stars are a measure of popularity. And that's really it. I'm so popular. Everybody loves me so much. Speaking of free laptops, I'm gonna be giving another one away to a commenter on my next video. If you like the idea of potentially winning a free MacBook because you wrote a comment on a YouTube video, you should probably subscribe so you don't miss it. So if they are, <laughs> this is so hard. If they're paper, it's hard to keep it all straight. Uh, and rock is X. <laughs> Why is it so hard for me?